A large spotlight shines near the state capitol tonight, representing the impact on parents who have lost a child during pregnancy. And there are too many Arkansans who know that pain. Teach for 11's David Lipman shows us the wave of light and how it can brighten the lives of families who have felt that incredible loss. Jennifer Thomas is like many parents. I have four kids. And yet different too. Two are here on this earth. Their names are Jonathan, he's 12, and Daniel, he's eight. And then we have two babies that are in heaven. She spoke to a crowd of dozens Tuesday evening at the sixth annual Wave of Light, sharing her story of loss and healing. We feel bad for people, but we don't necessarily want to talk about it. Thomas said it's easy for parents to isolate themselves after losing an infant. It's something a small percentage of parents understand, but that's not the case at Wave of Light. There's also different organizations who are out there who want to help, who want to, to be that community for you. Thomas found that community with Holy Sews, a local nonprofit that makes blankets and other items for parents whose children die during pregnancy. From recipient to volunteer, Thomas has helped send keepsakes to thousands of parents around the country. So it's really exciting to see that growth, but even more than that, it's very humbling because you realize just how many people have lost and are continuing to lose a baby. They wore shirts to honor their children and lit candles to show each other what they've lost, both mothers and fathers missing their children. Thomas said nights like this, talking about all four of her kids, help her feel like she has what she needs. God has revealed himself so much to us in our loss and he has just lifted us up so much that it's hard not to feel that love to overwhelm the deep sense of grief that is there as well. In Little Rock, David Lipman, THV 11 News.